Hi and welcome to a new vlog episode. I'm trying to make one vlog episode each week this year. So I'm doing it primarily on Saturdays. And uh, yeah, today I attached, I had to attach the microphone to something. So I decided to attach it on, uh, on this. <laughs> I don't know what it's even called. English, but this uh, is um, the Libertarian Party. Last year I was the leader of the Libertarian Party in the district of Akershus. And uh, I moved to a new district last year to Buskru. And uh, this week we had an annual meeting and I was uh, voted as the secretary <laughs> of, of the board here in Buskru. Um, that's all right. Uh, it's not important for me to be the leader. <laughs> um, and I couldn't expect anything else either. I'm new. I, I, I'm born here, but I haven't been here for Eight years I haven't been living here in Buskeri for I think it's around eight years and of course the, the leader here is doing a good job and I couldn't expect uh, as a stranger. This was uh, the first meeting I was to as well and the people there was real nice. Uh, it was eight people and uh, I think that was actually more than we used to be in Akershus as well. So it will be an exciting uh, election this year in 2017. We have a, an election for the Norwegian parliament and the Libertarian Party has gotten enough signatures to be registered as uh, a political party so we will be uh, yeah, what's it called uh, having lists in all the districts in Norway and um, it will be exciting to see how many votes we get um, we have also another libertarian party in Norway called the Norske Liberalist Party or something, <laughs> or something like that. I have changed the Norwegian uh, DLF, but that party has just been stable almost at zero for many many years. So it will be interesting to see if the libertarian party get more votes or if we just get the same results as DLF. And in my business, there has been some news also this week. I decided to put out an ad uh, applying for franchisees and have gotten a few applicants. Um, one very good which I have arranged to meet this coming week on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, and I'm also, I have, <clears throat> I'm in closing dialogue also with a potential franchisee who I've met three times. I will be meeting him, him also this week, most likely on Monday. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so that's a new business model for me, franchising. I've thought about it for many years and I, I think I've given it a small try maybe a couple of times without actually, which didn't result in anything. I didn't sign any franchise agreements at those first attempts, but uh, this time I think, well, I'm convinced I will do it. Um, yeah, so that will be exciting. Um, 
what else? Um, yeah, I signed a deal also with a company called Pure Help, which gives me lists of potential customers. Very nice uh, service. I've used them before. And, uh, and I also made a, a deal. <laughs> I became a customer at Lindorf, which is the world's largest um, what is it called? Norway is called Incasso. Uh, it's a debt, debt collecting company and that was successful. It, uh, at least I had one client with an outstanding payment and as soon as uh, Lindorf sent um, a request for payment, the customer paid very quickly. So that's good. <coughs> uh, yeah, what else? Well, what else? Uh, I'm, I'm growing longer hair this year. Um, I've been wanting a new hairstyle. So we'll see how that will turn out. Also a little bit inspired by the comeback of the Kelly family. I don't know if I'm going to have that long hairstyle as they used to have in the 90s. But at least I'm very glad that uh, the Kelly family are having a comeback. It's in um, May this year. They're holding three concerts in Dortmund Westfalenhalle. <coughs> which holds 16,500 audience. I don't have a ticket myself. It's sold out and um, they sold out the first concert in 17 minutes. So it's very popular. But I'm I believe I'll be seeing it on, on the internet afterwards. Yeah, they're one of my favorite bands. I like their values, family orientation, and um, that they homeschool. At least uh, um, the original Kelly family was homeschooled, and also Angelo Kelly, who has a um, YouTube channel, which I recommend. Just Google or search for Angelo Kelly, and in the YouTube you'll find him. And he is also homeschooling his children, which I also would like to do if I have children. Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> something I'm looking forward to in 2017. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? Not very much right now. Yeah, so I guess that's uh, what I had to share this time. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, wish you a nice week. Bye-bye.